Today, we're going to talk about responsiveness and how important it is in making sales. Stay tuned. I want to start by reading an email that I recently received from someone that I was introduced to for the sake of possibly doing some business together. I'm not exactly sure yet. I have been responding fairly promptly along the way. We've had an exchange on LinkedIn, then it went from LinkedIn to email, and I wrote back giving some availability. And here's the message I got after I sent back a message and then waited a few days. Hi, Michael. I'm obviously not in a sales role with the company. My follow-up with you has been slow, exclamation point. If you are still available on Wednesday, I'm available at both of the times you proposed. I look forward to connecting and sharing more. So I'm not going to share the name or the company or anything like that. It's not about that. It's about the lesson. What can we learn from this? So first thing, I'm obviously not in sales because I've had poor follow-up. Bingo. In sales, we expect salespeople to be great at follow-up. It is so important to be great at follow-up in sales. I want you to be so good at following up that you actually get comments on it, compliments on it. People say, wow, you are really good at following up. Or I have to say, nobody follows up like you do. Or thank you so much for following up. I really appreciate it. You should be getting comments like that regularly. And that's how you'll know that you've distinguished yourself from average. So another thing that's really important in this short message is if you are still available on Wednesday. Well, when I first sent the note, I learned that it's really important to not just say, I have some times available on Wednesday. When are you free? No, no, no. No, when we send email, we keep it short and to the point, and we try to make it actionable. So what I said is, I'm available on Tuesday at this time and this time, and I'm available on Wednesday at this time and this time. Which one of these will work for you? And I'll send a calendar invite. That keeps the exchange quick and responsive, right? Because then they're able to respond. They don't have to think about, well, I wonder when he's available. Will this work? They know when I'm available. And all they have to do is look at their calendar and my suggested times and pick one and respond. I'm available on Wednesday at this time. Well, as it turned out, by the time they wrote me, I wasn't available on Wednesday anymore. So I wrote back and I said, no problem. I'm no longer available on Wednesday, but I am available on Thursday at these times and Friday at these times. And here's exactly how to make an appointment with me. I have an online calendar. Here's the link. Go there and please pick a non-discovery, I mean a non-client discovery session. That's what I call my 30-minute get to know you session. And you're always welcome to set one of those up for me if you are based in the U.S. or Canada. I'm only working with people in the U.S. or Canada at this time for one-on-one -on -one sales coaching. So, that person got my email back and they set a time with me and now we'll be meeting. So that's how it works, right? Be responsive, be specific, and stay on top of your game. The other thing that's really important here is at any given time, I have no more than usually 30 emails in my inbox. That for me is a lot. I say 30 because that's kind of the upside. What I try to do is typically have somewhere around a dozen or less in my inbox. I like to start out the week that way. In a really busy week, sometimes it'll get up to around 30 or so, and then I whittle it back down by the end of the week to start the next week fresh with a clean inbox. You can't be responsive if you're not able to see the email. Check your junk folder, right? Check there. I'm very responsive on LinkedIn. I check my LinkedIn messages every day. So when I get email or messaging coming in through various channels, I'm on it. If I get a text, I'm on it. If I get a voicemail, I'm on it. I had a call recently from a person looking for information to support their leader who's in one of my programs. I responded right away, left a message. I called back several times during that day. 
I was never able to reach the person, so I just let it go because I did my part. I was highly responsive. Do your part, be responsive, and you will find that your success will grow because of this one characteristic. It's a defining characteristic of successful people that they are responsive or they have someone who is responsive for them. And that's up to you to decide based on where you are in your career, right? For me, I pretty much am the one being responsive. But one day, who knows? I hope you will respond to this video by sharing a comment below and letting me know how responsiveness has worked well for you or what commitment you're going to make to be more responsive and being specific in your messaging, right? That's the second lesson in here. Please like it, share it with other people who have not discovered my channel. And if this is your first or second time on my channel, please subscribe because I release videos every week. If you're looking for sales training or sales coaching in the US or Canada, please go to my website, buildandbalance.com and explore those options. If you have questions about sales, feel free to email me at michael at buildandbalance.com. Guess what? You'll get a response from me if you do. Thanks and best wishes to you.